I'm so fired up for this video. I just ate a whole bag of mozzarella sticks. All right, let's cut the crap. It's a bad day to be a movie theater. Today we have to dig into a pretty sad question. Are movie theaters finally dying? Because a recent study found that two thirds of people would rather wait for a movie to come out on streaming than to go see it in theaters. That's a lot of people. Some of the reasons include having to take bathroom breaks during the movie, inconvenient theater locations and show times, but the most common complaint was distractions from other viewers. These are some of the many factors contributing to the trend of theaters shuttering across the US. Maybe it's not all that surprising because going to the theater these days can be very expensive. And why go to the theater when you're already paying for all these expensive streaming services to begin with? Look, I get it. You never know who you're going to be sitting next to at a theater. You could get someone really disruptive. Last winter, I went to go see Killers of the Flower Moon and there was an old man sitting behind me who needed every single character explained to him. And it's like a three hour movie. There'd be like dramatic, silent tension building in a scene and he would go, wait, who is that? That's Lily Gladstone, dude. She's like a main character. And I get it, why would you wanna leave your cozy sofa to go out and sit with a bunch of people that might be talking during the movie, chewing their popcorn loudly? You might even be sat next to this guy who fell asleep while cranking his hog during Kristen Stewart's Love Lies Bleeding last weekend. This is probably one of the reasons why people prefer watching movies at home. There are some fantastic details in this picture. He's ripping cigs, shooting fireballs, and the rolled up dollar bill next to some mysterious white powder. This guy brought the party from home and you can't keep him awake? I'm sorry, your movie can't be that good. <laughs> Someone's gotta say it. Sorry, Edgelord over here. And to point out the obvious, he could have woken up at home, finished the movie from where he fell asleep. We'll finish and then finish the movie. And look, guys like this are making it really tough on theaters. They're gonna have to edit those PSAs that they show before the movie. Hi, I'm Katie O'Brien, star of A24's Love Lies Bleeding. While you watch this or any other movie, I ask nicely that you don't disrupt the people around you with talking or with your phone. Well, that was good, Katie, but I think you missed a couple things. Hi. I'm Kenny Murphy, star of Little League Bigger Dreams. Please don't talk or text during this movie, and if you got a tug off, make it fast. Hey, I'm Kenny Murphy, star of My Heart Was Already Yours to Begin With. Please silence your phones, don't talk during the movie, and if you gotta yank off, wait till about the 47 minute mark. I have a great nude scene around that point. Oh no, my fiance's coming home. Everyone say bye, Sophie. Sorry about that. Now, I'm not afraid to say that I love going to the movies. I think the movie industry has made a considerable comeback over the last few years, purely in terms of creative output. Ticket sales year over year have seen a steady increase, but haven't hit pre-COVID numbers. And they probably never will again. And maybe the reality of the situation is that we don't need the traditional theater experience that we had, say, when I was growing up, or even like 10 years ago. I'd say that I only go to about six to eight movies a year if I had to guess. But just in the last couple of years, I still have very fond memories of the experiences I had at the theater. We had John Wick 4 come out last spring. The criminally underrated comedy Theater Camp made me laugh so hard. And of course we had Barbenheimer last year which brought millions of people together in a way that cinema hasn't done in years. The only thing that's had a bigger impact on the movie industry since is the Dune 2 popcorn bucket. I even saw Godzilla Minus One in one of those 4D vibrating seats. Just me and the boys vibrating together. <laughs> My point is, it feels like movies have that energy that only Nicole Kidman can capture. But the slip in ticket sales aren't a secret to the theaters either. Here's a tweet from AMC CEO Adam Aaron acknowledging that ticket sales just aren't what they used to be. So painful. Four years after COVID, the industry-wide box office is still ludicrously anemic and AMC stock has slid to $4.48. Difficult to think about anything other than guiding AMC back in these challenging times. But greatness deserves praise. Sixers Joel Embiid, 70 points. 70! I'm gonna be honest here, it doesn't seem like it's that hard for you to think of something else. You started talking about basketball during the same tweet. AMC CEO also just announced that they're bringing the Olympics to theaters. Imagine if they brought live football to theaters. It's just a bunch of dads who punch their TVs with nowhere else to go. <laughs> All right, babe. I'm gonna need you to get all this blood and glass cleaned up and I'm gonna watch the second half at AMC. 
I haven't seen Madam Web, but when I saw TikToks of entire crowds laughing together collectively at this awful movie, I remembered just how valuable movie theaters are. There's something unbeatable about being surrounded by mostly strangers sharing that unique experience. Where do you weigh in on this? Do you like going to the theater? Do you prefer just watching at home? Let me know and please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And I'll be back soon with new vids. See you next time.